guess I've got to turn on the microphone. Sorry about that. This is the January meeting of MTA Bridges and Tunnels, and we welcome our new acting president, uh, Jim Farrar, uh, Nancy, Nancy, Mark, Bob. We, wel we welcome you to, your, um, to the hot seat, but one which we all know uh, Susan and David in their times kept very warm and did a very good job on. So we know that you will continue to fulfill um, the obligations. And uh, are there any public comments? There are none. Okay. Nobody loves us today. Approval of the minutes from the December meeting. Anybody have any questions about the December minutes? I move them. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Work plan, sir. There's no change to this month's work plan. Okay. And we can go on to operations. Uh, first, I'd like to uh, make comment about the um, awarding of the VN03 project. It was awarded last week, um, specifically referring to uh, Commissioner Capelli's request that he have information on that for this meeting. So that means that some of the tr toll boots will be coming down in the spring. Absolutely. Good. Absolutely. I know that's been a very important goal of Commissioner Capelli, and we uh, thank the, the uh, Bridges and Tunnels for making sure that happens in an appropriate and timely manner. Thank Absolutely. You. Uh, the start of the project will happen uh, about, you'll see that beginning in the spring of 2010. Okay. And it'll culminate uh, December 2010. Excellent. Okay, moving on to the report on operations. The report begins on page 15. There were 23.6 million traffic crossings this month, a decrease of 0.2% from the previous November. Year-to-date traffic has decreased 1.5% from the same period last year. Vehicles using EasyPass increased 1.9%, while cash vehicles declined 6.1% compared to the previous November. EasyPass market share continues to show month-to-month -month improvement since August of 2009, while cash vehicles have declined since July of 2009. Uh, that concludes the report on operations. Any questions on operations? The, the higher the easy pass, the better it is for everybody. Absolutely. In that regard. Okay. Next. Okay. Uh, let me, I'll go through the, um, the easy pass report that begins on page 27. Uh, it shows that our Easy Pass market share is up from the previous year, 75.3 uh, versus 73.8 percent. Um, almost 9,400 accounts were opened in November. Year to date, we've opened close to 116,000 accounts, about 10,000 more than the same time last year. Um, uh, we, um, in regards to Easy Pass on the go, about 1,800 tags were opened um, in November. That's about 20 percent of the accounts opened for the month. And um, more than 41,000 of these tags have been sold since this program began, at 80 percent of which have been registered. And that's the Easy Pass report. If there's no questions, I'll move on to the financial report, which okay. begins on page 33. Um, let me just state, first of all, uh, next month we'll give you some preliminary estimates of where, we've, where we come out against our final forecast uh, for the year. So this month we're still reporting against our July plan. Um, so toll revenue for November was up against the mid-year forecast, um, about $3.2 million, 2.9 percent, primarily due to higher than planned traffic. And revenue was up about $21 million, um, about 1.8 percent against the mid-year forecast. Um, expenses were about $7 million lower in November, primarily due to the timing of, of expenses in the maintenance and operating contracts category. Um, and the, that's primarily due to timing. And our support to mass transit is approximately $709 million. Through November, it's about $82 million better than the July plan. If there's no that concludes the financial report. Have any questions? Any questions, anyone? Okay. Okay, moving to um, the capital. Um, we committed uh, two projects in December to bring our yearly total to $27.6 million versus a plan of $122.5 million. As discussed in the past, this commitment shortfall is attributable primarily to our decision to reconsider two major building projects. 
um, given the current apparently favorable state of the real estate market. Leasing space off island is an alternative that might prove beneficial, and we will uh, look at that option and others. On a positive note, due to our success in fully committing our work from 2005 through 2008, our overall commitment status will be reasonably good. We'll commit 89 percent of our of entire 05 to 09 program. Uh, we completed one task in December, bringing our yearly total to a record 446.4 million. This represents 91 percent of our yearly plan, and overall, we'll accomplish 97 percent of our 05 to 09 completion plans. Um, year to date, we've closed out 117.3 million dollars worth of work, and that concludes my report. Do we have? Any idea? Are we going to temporarily suspend TB59, or is there different words to use with regard to what we're going to do to that? Um, right now, right now we are we are looking at different options and um, looking at various um, combinations of leases and perhaps um, pre-engineered structures. Um, there's a lot of combinations and a lot of ways to, to go. Um, we're in the middle of a fairly extensive review right now. Okay. And you'll keep the committee informed as to Absolutely. how that's going along, because obviously um, we all understood the importance of why we had to do it in the first place, and if we now can accomplish it without having to do it in for a uh, less expensive way and yet accomplish what we needed with regard to the rehabilitation of the bridge, so much the better in that regard. Yeah. Okay. Good. Next. Pro procurements. Yes, sir. Uh, there are three procurements uh, this month totaling approximately three hundred and seventy nine thousand uh, dollars there are uh, each one of them is a competitive procurement and there are no non-competitive procurements the first is a joint procurement by b and t with the police department for miscellaneous service contracts with three different firms to provide maintenance and repair of, of standby generators located at b and t uh, and uh, pd facilities over a three-year period the firms are GenServe Incorporated, uh, which will service B&T uh, in the amount of $172,950 and $667,950 for two, two police department locations, to Transportation Technology in the amount of $31,477.50 for a PD location, and to Marine Temperature Systems in the amount of $23,655 for a fourth PD Police Department location. The total is $296,032.50 in this procurement. Any questions with regard to this procurement? Motion to approve? Do you, know, I just vote on them all? you want to do the other two at the same time? Go to the other two at the same time. Go ahead. The second is a miscellaneous service contract with a firm called Permador Industry doing business as Cisco to provide inspection, maintenance, and repair services of vehicle equipment lifts at uh, our uh, B&T um, garages and, and service facilities in the amount of $46,344, again, over a period of three years. And the third is a joint procurement for miscellaneous service contracts with um, NextCut Next LLC and Synthes Corporation to provide on-site document and material destruction and removal of material at various B&T and Long Island Railroad facilities, again over a three-year period. The award to NextCut is in the amount of $21,000 and $21,057 for B&T and to Synthes in the amount of $15,312 for Long Island Railroad for a total of $36,369. Any questions on any of the procurements? Motion to approve? Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Any other business to come before the committee? If not, okay. Absolutely. Crashers are more than welcome to do so. No, go right ahead. How are we doing on automating the uh, toll booths, at least to get rid of the arms? I know that we were supposed to start that on the Henry Hudson Bridge. Is that underway? Uh, the testing is ongoing. Uh, physically, uh, you will not see the arms uh, in an up position until the testing, the infrastructure, um, is, is completed. And then we'll move to the physical, meaning um, the location uh, described. Is that what 
Well, we're testing um, the whole AET program. Um, we are not accustomed to AET, as you know. Uh, so the program is starting from the ground up. We're building it. Okay. I know that's one of the chairman's new initiatives. Um, so we'll be moving, we'll be keeping a close eye on that. Any other questions? Thank you all very much, and we'll see you next month. Take care. Good luck, Jim. Do you have your notes? Yeah. I'll send, I'll send. Are you sending it to me?